Congratulations, you own the Force, the most powerful, most efficient trolling motor on the water. In this tutorial video, we'll help you get the most from your Force handheld remote control. First, you must calibrate the compass in the remote control before you can use the gesture controls feature. Do this outdoors. To improve accuracy, do not stand near objects that influence magnetic fields, such as vehicles, buildings, and overhead power lines. Select Menu, scroll up to Settings, Remote, Calibrate. Select Start and follow the on-screen instructions. If the gesture controls feature is not working properly after calibration, you can repeat this process as often as needed. Now, let's get familiar with the keys. This is the on-off key. This key sets and holds the cruise control at the current speed over ground or SOG. Press this key to set the propeller speed to full. If the propeller is off, it turns on the propeller and sets the speed to full. Press this key for manual control. You can hold and steer the motor with gestures. This key turns the propeller on and off. These keys help you navigate through menus. When in Heading Hold or Manual Control, press left and right keys for single degree step turns or hold for rudder steering. Also, when in Heading Hold or Manual Control, press the forward or backward keys for incremental speed changes or hold for continuous speed changes. Press this key to set and maintain the current heading. Hold this key to set the heading hold by positioning the remote. We'll cover gesture controls in a moment. Press this key to engage the anchor lock feature. When in anchor lock, press to jog left, right, backward, or forward. When in anchor lock, press to return to manual steering. This key opens and closes the remote control menu. When connected to a compatible Garmin chart plotter, this key marks a waypoint. And these keys numbered from 1 through 4 are your favorites keys. Now let's look at the remote control screen. In this field, we'll see the trolling motor battery voltage. And if you press the settings menu, you can view the remote control's battery level. This field shows the operational status of the trolling motor. For example, when in manual control, manual is shown. When the heading hold is engaged, Heading hold is shown along with the heading in degrees. This icon shows the status of the propeller. When the propeller icon is shown, the propeller is engaged. If it is not shown, the propeller is not engaged. This icon shows the GPS signal status of the trolling motor. The prop indicator shows the speed level for the propeller. The SOG indicator shows the speed over ground in your specified units. Now let's talk about the point and go gesture control feature of your handheld remote. Before you can use the gesture controls, you must have calibrated the compass in the remote control. First, make sure the propeller is engaged. Press and hold the gesture control key. While holding the gesture control key, move the remote control to the left or to the right to steer toward port or starboard. Release the gesture control key to stop steering. You can also set and adjust your heading hold using gesture controls. To do this, make sure your propeller is engaged. Now point the remote control toward where you want to engage or change the heading control. Press and hold the heading control key. The motor engages or changes the heading hold and steers the boat in the direction you are pointing as you hold the key. Once your heading is established, simply release the key. To use gesture controls to adjust the position of the anchor lock feature, point the remote control in the direction you want to move the anchor lock point, and then press and hold the anchor lock key. The anchor lock point moves 5 feet in the direction you point. You can repeat the previous steps until you reach your desired anchor lock point location. And that's all there is to using your Garmin Force remote control and its point and go gesture steering features.